we have to be able to play in all 12 keys. However, certain keys, like keys where we don't have any open strings, like C-sharp major, get kind of complicated to think about. So we need to play through the whole cycle to get all of them. So here's an intermediate exercise where we're going to arpeggiate through three different chord qualities through the cycle of fifths in that tonic dominant relationship. We're going to start with the major seven chord, then the minor seven chord, then the dominant seven chord. Here we go. We're going to start on C major seven. I don't care what fingering you use as long as you always know what note you're playing. C major seven. We'll just do two octaves. C minor seven. C dominant seven. Resolves to F major seven. F minor seven. F dominant seven. B flat major seven. B flat minor seven. dominant seven E flat major seven E flat dominant seven I'm sorry that's this is E flat minor seven this is E flat dominant seven Major seven. A flat do uh, minor seven. A flat dominant seven. We could call this D flat major seven, or we could call it C sharp major seven. C sharp minor seven. C sharp dominant seven. sharp major seven F sharp minor seven F sharp dominant seven B major seven Minor seven. B dominant seven. E major seven. E minor seven. Dominant seven. A major seven. A 
minor 7. A dominant 7. D major 7. through three times through that whole cycle, you'll be acing it. Just always remember to be aware of what note you're playing. If you change the fingering and play with different fingerings, that's great, but always know what note you're playing and play through that cycle. And you'll be on top of your cello geography in no time.